Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte Water Force X2 360 Ice All-in-One Cooler. This all-in-one liquid CPU cooler is designed for AMD and Intel motherboards with various socket types. It features a large CPU water block with LCD edge view. The LCD display is fully customizable for monitoring CPU clock speeds, temperatures, utilization, fan and pump speeds. There are five modes of animation and 40 gigabytes of internal storage, which means you can personalize it with your own GIFs, JPEGs or MP3 files and the display can be rotated 360 degrees via the software. The CPU cooler has an 8% larger pump that offers a 44% increase in flow rate, while the contact surface area is increased by 3%. It comes with three RGB cooling fans featuring Gigabyte's Fan Easy Chain Mag design. It allows for a fast and easy installation via a DZ chain design. Normal wires means less clutter. The fan comes with a new blade design that helps to increase the airflow up to 72 CFM with a maximum noise level of only 37.5 decibels. The whole setup can be synchronized with other Aorus devices via the uh, Gigabyte's control center. We'll be testing this AIO cooler using an Intel Core i9-1400K which is known to run really hot on a Z790 motherboard along with 30GB of DDR5-7200 RAM. We'll also be using the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the system performs. Alright, so let's not waste any time and build our test rig and see how the CPU cooler will perform. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte Aorus Waterforce X2 360 Ice All-in-One Cooler. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay. We have the uh, instruction installation guide. And then we have three fans. These are the uh, magnetic fans, very nice. There's three of them there. And in here we have all the accessories, including uh, mounting brackets for all the different types of processor and uh, for the motherboard as well. Okay, we have the, uh, the magnetic cable there, connector there for the cable. And you can see there's the three pin RGB and also the fan header there that connects up to one of the ends of the fans. We have a TR4 and TR5 bracket for AMD Threadripper processors. AMD mounting bracket for AM4 and AM5. Uh, Intel mounting bracket there for all of the Intel processors. And we've got different screw mounts for different uh, types of processors as well. Fan screws, washers, thumb the thumb screw caps and uh, for the LG 1700, uh, AM4, some radiator screws and the AM5 screws there. Yep, those there. We also have a thermal paste, so that's good, a tube of thermal paste. All right, let's take a look at the AIO. We'll unhook the uh, radiator first. All right, here we go. It's a radiator there. And uh, on the top here, we have uh, some fan headers and an ARGB header as well. Okay, let's have a look at the CPU water block. Here we have the CPU water block and you can see it's quite large and it has a 60 by 60 millimeter uh, display. The CPU water block has a 8% larger pump that offers a 44% increase in flow rate. And you can see the large contact surface area, which is increased by 3%. And uh, underneath here, we have, of course, the uh, copper plate. And uh, don't forget to remove the plastic warning sign here. Warning, remove before installation. All right. 
and you can see it comes with some nice braided sleeves for your tubing and to power the pump it has a uh, USB for your LCD I guess and also a SATA uh, power connector um, normally we see a, a fan connector but yeah this comes with a SATA so I'm guessing it needs to power the pump and the LCD display all right okay for the radiator is a 360 size radiator and you can mount the fans uh, along here three of the magnetic fans quite nice all right here we have the three of the magnetic fans and they're quite nice and easy to install you just line them up and they just snap into place just like that and you can do the same with the third one you just line them up and they just snap into place all right okay so if we were going to mount this we just place the fans like this onto the radiator and then use the fan screw mounts to secure them in place along the uh, screw holes there and this is the magnetic connector with the cables that goes to the motherboard so in this instance we just uh, put this onto here that snaps into place and then that goes into your motherboard uh, for the uh, three pin ARGB and also the four pin fan header for your uh, cooling fan if you look closely at the fan it comes with some new fan blades which allow to uh, increase the airflow up to 72 CFM and uh, also has a quiet operation of around about 37.5 decibels the fans are really easy to use and it allows for a daisy chain setup which is great the LCD edge view can be fully customizable for monitoring clock speeds uh, utilization temperatures fan and pump speeds it comes with five modes of animation and 40 megabytes of internal storage which means you can actually personalize it with your own uh, text gifs jpegs or mp4 files and the display can be rotated 360 degrees using the uh, software and this whole setup can be uh, synchronized with other Aorus devices using the gigabyte control center it'll be interesting to see how this all-in-one cooler will perform and uh, we'll be mounting this onto our height y70 chassis and uh, of course we'll be using an intel core i9 1400k processor which is known to run really hot all right so this was a quick unboxing of the gigabyte aurus water force x2 360 ice all-in-one cooler When it comes to AIO coolers, I have to admit the Gigabyte Aorus Waterforce X2 360 Ice really tickled my fancy. I love the all white design, which is perfect for any user wanting to build an all white themed PC. I also love the large 60x60 color LCD display, which is fully customizable, as well as the included ARGB fans with the magnetic connectors. Now let's talk about cooling performance. During our tests, we use an Intel Core i9 1400K processor which has a default DDP of 125 watts and is also known to run extremely hot. Idle temperatures reached around about 35 degrees Celsius. At 100% full load, with turbo boost on, power usage skyrocketed to 345 watts. The load temperatures reached a high of between 97 to 100 degrees Celsius. It's not perfect, but the AIO cooler seems to be handling it okay, thanks to its larger pump and contact surface area and three powerful cooling fans, which is included with the package. As I mentioned earlier, the CPU block comes with the LCD Edge view, which is a fully customizable LCD display for monitoring clock speeds, utilization, temperatures, fan and pump speeds. There are five modes of animation and 40 megabytes of storage, which means you can personalize it with your own text, GIFs, JPEGs or MP4 files. The display can also be rotated 360 degrees via the software. Cooling fans play a big part in the AIO's cooling performance. Gigabyte have included three ARGB cooling fans featuring their Easy Chain Mag design that allows for a fast and easy installation via a daisy chain setup. The cooling fans come with a new fan blade design which helps to increase the airflow to 72 CFM with a maximum noise level of only 37.5 decibels. All in all, I'm very pleased with the Gigabyte Aorus Waterforce X2 360 ICE. Installation was easy, cooling performance is good and the all white aesthetics looks great. And what's more, the whole setup can be synchronized with other Aorus devices using the Gigabyte Control Center. 
you can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the Gigabyte Aura's Waterforce X2 360 Ice All-in-One Cooler. It offers great cooling performance, and I love those magnetic fans and that LCD display. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.